Got it. Door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. Cost reduction strategy? We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omuramba, but this is... worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad, shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up the room wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. Are you doing okay, Aloy? Yeah, it's just a long way up. No. How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Whew. Well, that's done with. 
Okay, I'm back at the shafts. If I blow up that fire beam, the elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! Uh, be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. All right, help is on the way. Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts. I... I think these were Eileen's. It made it! It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. And maybe they'll help with the door. That did it! You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office... Impressive view... It must have been Eileen's! Let's see if the data on Leviathan is here. Well, it's official. Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair... ...and worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here... It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors. Statistics. <laughs> Far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water. Improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe a lie was truth, but I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts, no more lying, just a safe face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father, uh, took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe. But not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... Uh, Leviathan... Yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're in landfall. Okay. I'll see you there. Well, after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to... what? Just... thinking about it.
Careful! Pretty as shotgun here against that machine. Must be the shrine for the land god Doe. Must be past those vines. Let's take a look. There, up on that ledge. Horn overrides fix now. So, it looks like this one's been here for a while. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the way. But, where there's vines, there's a metal flower. I just have to find it.
There, the flower. If I can deactivate it, the land god will be free from the vines. And I'll have to find a way up there. I thought a diver would be interested in this. There we go. Should be able to access that cave now. Looks like I can climb up the side of the cliff. Might help me get to that metal flower. <laughs> now I just need to get to the lines. That's better. Time to get this code installed. One down, two to go. Zo, you there? I'm here, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth, and listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. All right then. I'll deliver the code to some of the land gods here in Plainsong. Let me know how it goes with the others. Sure thing. Sitting for my focus. I'm gonna push through this one. I guess they were leaving offerings to the land god. It looks like something... ...frightened them. Whatever did it might still be around. <laughs> Acid ammo could help here. There's the land god. I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code. Huh? 
All the machines. Time to install this code on that land god. This is my stash later. Uh-oh. Stormbird. Must have been what killed things at home. Code installed on that land god. Let's try this again. Nice and easy. Another land god dealt with. Hey, Zo? Aloy, how goes it? I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude. And all the children would receive gifts. The best was my first bow. Made of you. Strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. There's one more thing. I found two of your people. A Stormbirth got them. But I took it down. Oh. I'll make sure some of the seed pouches. How are things in your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the last one. Thank you, Aloy.
you! There. One of the land god shrines. So said this one sank in a nearby lake. The land god must be down there somewhere. Time for swim. I think the land god is underneath that rubble. I better stay away from that snap maw. But I gave the reboot code to So. Ah, good. We used to celebrate So in the fall, at the beginning of the harvest, so with bad. wine made from elderflowers. Aloy, you when I was twelve, when you can. Meet me at Plain Song, and we'll send out the All of the land signal. gods have been updated. I've delivered the now code to, to send all out the land reboot gods, signal. save one. Only La is left. I'm here with her, just east of the main village. Okay, I'll get there as soon as I can. beginning. Gaia told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. So, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later, and I'll tell you how it went. Good luck.
strength. Must be the entrance to the Valley of the Fallen. Marshal Ivira should be around here somewhere. There's Marshal Ivira with one of the missing Tanakhs. Marshal Ivira. I heard you were sent to rescue some Tanakh who went into the valley. I'm guessing you must be one of them. Where are the others? See, they, they didn't make it. I had to fight off several machines just to get Kanala out. The valley was closed months ago for good reason. Machines have gathered in number as if they're drawn there by something. And until recently, there were strange glowing lights off the coast. The valley is cursed. We never should have gone in. Ivira, you were made a marshal at the Kulrut, and you were by Hikaru's side in the final stand against Regala. And you're the one who flew on the wings of the Ten, ended Regala's threat in a single combat. I was just doing what I could to help. In an amazing way, and I saw what you did with my own eyes. Here I thought the Kulrut was the best day of my life, becoming a marshal bearing witness to the vision of unity. But you really outdid yourself against Regala. I have a lot to live up to. You said there were strange lights off the coast? From an island to the south. They appeared one day out of the blue, around the same time the machines moved into the valley. There were also reports of a streak of light that rose and fell in the sky above the island. I saw it on the fourth night. A flame that climbed in the sky until it disappeared among the stars. Must have been from the Xena space. Don't know about that. But recently, the lights vanished. Smoke rises from the island now, as if some huge battle took place. Something like that. If the valley's been off limits for months, why did you go in? We wanted to run the trial. The valley is a great test for lowland soldiers. Survive for ten days and nights. Take down any machine that stands in the way. Dax had a plan. We'd hunt down each machine one by one, until we cleared the valley, earned the clan's respect. But we got separated from Iveka after the third day. Then machines cut us off from the way out. By the time Marshal Avira found us, we were wounded and out of supplies. More machines attacked us as we made our escape. Dax was right behind us, but he couldn't run fast enough. A lot of machines in one place. Sounds bad. I better look into it. See if I can put a stop to it. Then I'll come with you. Fight by your side. No. Better let me take a look first. Trust me, it's for the best. I guess if you insist. Once you're in the valley, head for the Great Falls and the cliff south of the Metal Devil. The machines seem attracted to those sites. Got it. Thanks. We'll rest here a while more, then head for the Medic in Fall's Edge. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Who knows what our use is? Trail's falling apart. Where is this part of the trial?
Jesus. Always a busy space. And killing machines, as promised. If I'm right, there should be a lure around here. I might be able to find it with my focus. She more. Just what I thought. But this one looks advanced. Axiom's attack. Is it still functioning? Even though their base is a small one. I'm going to take a closer look. There's data here. Looks like a log. Something called the Julius? Some local hormone exterminator. Is it attracting machines to kill intruders here? Well, at least this lore shut down now.
All right, gotta shut this thing down. Another weird log from the Julius. This one mentions a third moor close by. I better check it out. It looks like I was right. The Zenus left these things here to draw in machines and protect the approach to their base. these machines before I can shut it off. Should be the last one. And looks like there's a recording here. Hey, shithead! I got a task for you. The Julius is ready to serve. So Eric left a simple AI in charge of the wars. Looks like it shut itself down when I overrode the last one. Oh, I better get to that wound into Knox. See if they're okay. What's an Outlander doing all the way out here? Clearing the valley. You must be one of the missing Tanox. Everyone thought you were dead. Nearly. Dax and Kanala. Are they... Kanala's alive. Marshal Vera pulled her out. Speaking of... Aloy! Evira. Couldn't stay away, could you? And miss my chance to hunt with the champion in the Valley of the Fallen? Never! And I see you found Eva... Now this looks like a fight. You with me, Marshal?
I'll be right back. She needs a medic, but she'll live. Thanks to you. Gotta say, every time we meet is the best day ever for fighting. That battle was something else. Do you think more dangerous machines will come? No. I figured out what was causing the machines to gather in the valley, and I put a stop to it. Oh, good news for the clan, then. Trust me, it is. Some really horrible people were behind this. The lights that used to be offshore, was that from them? Yeah. It was a kind of shield to protect the island. The machines drawn to this valley were meant to kill anyone who got close. Meaning the slaughter. Thank you for telling me. Here, I want you to have this. Thank you. The valley should be safe enough, for now. I hope our paths cross again, Aloy. Someone's in trouble. The Osram I met said someone in their crew ran off in this direction. I should keep Leave my, eyes my open. stuff alone! Machine seizing up! I think she's gonna need some backup. No! Sure, she's okay. One four two. Supply drop. All right. Why? The spike is still intact. Rig still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this. Rig of yours. It's receiving sound through that wire. From the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. 
faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. Further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well, like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. It travels by wire down to my contraption. I, I put some coils in there and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. And you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. You're no ordinary tinker. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can well to seem so fine you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. You see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew with one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion. <sighs> Anyhow, at least out here I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Sounds like you're still mad at your brother. Some days I am. Other days, I miss him. He's passed on, you see. He didn't have the guts to go against the blast of the bellows and vouch for a lady. Even his own sister. It was cowardly, and I told him so. In fact, I told him we weren't family no more, but over time, I've had cause to regret it. He wasn't a bad sort. He knew how to make me smile, when he wasn't being such a lout. I'm sorry he's gone. Yeah, so am I. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not, but I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. And then please, just don't break anything. Better get climbing. her credit lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. Oh, there's a spike. Might get better reception from next to it. And during 
victory. Interesting.